The presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People Party, NNPP, Rabiu Kwankoso, has inaugurated five campaign offices in Cross River State. The campaign offices inaugurated are Dr. Sam Eno Senatorial Campaign Office, UGEP, Yakro Local Government, Wilfred Bunsi Campaign Organization, and Cross River Central Senatorial Zone Headquarters, ECOM. Others are the Dr. Yakubu Shandam Campaign Headquarters, Boki Ecom Federal Constituency Ecom, Caroline Williams Senatorial Campaign Headquarters, Ogoja, Cross River Northern Senatorial Zone, Yakubu Shandam Campaign Office, Okondi, Boki Local Government and Benklin Campaign Office, Okondi, Boki One State Constituency. Mr. Buba Galadima, the Secretary, Board of Trustees of the party, said the visit was one of a kind and a homecoming for him, adding that the presidential team were very warmly received by the good people of Cross River State. It is a reunion for me because I was the first time I, sa I set foot on Ecom, Ogoja and other places was in 1972 when I was a student at the university. And uh, Cross River State has changed tremendously because when we came during that time, you find out that uh, you can drive for 10 kilometers under canopy of trees and uh, you cannot even see the sun. Today, uh, the environment has been bastardized and uh, you, can, you have open fields which hitherto was non-existent at that time. But uh, I'm glad to report that the people are still very, very friendly as we had known before. I want to place a record that uh, even in the south, Cross River State is being regarded as part of Northern Nigeria because we have this a long-standing relationship. That is why you find a lot of Arewa people, at least in this part of the country, uh, Ogeb, Ikom, Obubra, Ogoja, Yala, and uh, several uh, other places, including even Calabar itself. So whenever I am here, I feel that I am at home. I regard Cross River as my second home. Politically, we had always also tagged together, and uh, it seems like this bond has not broken. This is why whatever that happens in northern Nigeria is also happening in the old Cross River uh, state. This is what informed uh, the kind of reception that we have received. This is this is why uh, our party has got real acceptance and uh, is being received by the people of this state as their own political party. And I assure you that with the kind of reception we have received in various uh, areas since we came in in the morning, uh, we are assured that uh, the NNPP, or Niger New Nigerian People's Party, will take cross River State. Speaking, Ambassador Wilfred Bonsi, the NNPP gubernatorial candidate in the state said the visit of Kwankwasa was the beginning of better things to come for the state, adding that NNPP was the fastest ever growing political party in the country. The evolution cross river dream is off the ground. If you ask me, I'll just say that we have been off to a very good start. And thankfully, you've been with us from the morning. It's almost midnight and everybody is still full of activity, constructive activity. And that's the vibe, you know, that has been missing, you know, in the polity. The lethargic uh, youth kind of slip over the polity being unchangeable has suddenly taken a new turn. And you can see it for yourself. So I'm ecstatic. My feel about it is that this is a good start and just the beginning. It wasn't a rally. We got rallies as bonuses to what we came for. Ab initio, we simply came to commission offices. A lot of persons, a lot of the things that 
revolve around uh, the political structures of this day are very superficial. But the NMPP has been opening offices in chapters, in wards. You can imagine that a presidential candidate of, of no less pedigree than Dr. Rabi Musa Konkoso would not only go to local government uh, headquarters as he went to GEP, went to ECOM and Ogoja, but will go off to a remote village in Boki local government, Okonde, to commission the secretariat. It's unprecedented. And if you remember correctly, the Obolopon of Ugep was saying that the last time a person of that pedigree came was when Cheo Shagari in the 80s came to visit. So, woo. this is the real grassroots development strategy for sensitizing the people, for meeting them right where they are, for understanding their pain, as well as, you know, connecting with them in a way that you can connect with them just on either social media or just talking to them or talking at them from any platform apart from being right, you know, in their cabal, so to say. First, it was a family meeting, rightly put. We had to do a post-mortem analysis of the journey so far as a party uh, with specific attention to Cross River State, but more generally the national environment. So we have just sifted the uh, wheat from the chaff, you know, to keep the focus strong, to distinguish ourselves in perpetuity from the rest of the park. This is the new Nigerian People's Party. Most of these other parties that have been in existence for years and even decades haven't had the kind of traction that the new Nigerian People's Party has had in just about seven months. You know, but when such, you know, things are... Uh, afoot, you want to be sure you keep it real. You want to be sure you, you keep or maintain or even accelerate further on the momentum that you have gained with very, very firm, you know, tripods or, you know, pronged approaches that, you know, will keep you stable. And that's what we've tried to do. And I think that uh, we did a good job of it. Mr. Tony Ode, the Cross River chairman of the NNPP, said he felt very fulfilled after the visit of Kwan Kwaso, stressing that the visit was both strategic and impactful. When you look at my face, you will know that I'm a very happy person. I'm a fulfilled person because uh, it's an opportunity that I've been yearning for. I've been thinking of how I will bring our leader to this community. As I told him in Abuja, and I'll continue to tell people, I am not following him or working for him. I'm working for myself. I am representing myself in whatever I'm doing because by the time he wins, all the people around me, my community, the state will be comfortable because I have an idea of what Kwan Kwaso stands for. I am somebody who believes in... Uh, hard work and I believe in people who are into hard work. Today I'm a happy person. I'm a happy person because I have succeeded in bringing uh, Senator Rabi Musa Kwankwaso to Ogoja. I wanted him before now to come and see how the people are feeling because we are very disappointed in all what has been happening in the country. Cross River State is one state that uh, has what it takes to grow. But the kind of leadership that we have had from the national to the grassroots has never, never allowed us to move forward. So when you ask me how I feel about what has happened today, I will tell you I feel very, very happy and fulfilled. Mrs. Caroline Williams, the senatorial candidate for Cross River North Senatorial Zone, reiterated the fact that the visit of Kwankwasa was a historic one, adding that he was indeed a man of the people. I would like to appreciate His Excellency for his visit to commission my office. It was a historic moment. For the first time, a presidential candidate visits Ogoja. That was historic. History was made. This shows you um, a leader that is open to everybody. From the north to the south to the east to the west, 
He welcomes everyone. That is a quality that you can't buy. Mr. Augustine Bisong, the NNPP candidate for Buki True State House of Assembly, noted that the NNPP presidential candidate was very well received by the good people of the state as well as party faithfuls at the grassroots. It's a beautiful thing. First and foremost, I want to thank uh, His Excellency Engineer Alaji Rabio Musa Konkosu, who have brought a new dimension in our polity. For the first time, you see a presidential hopeful. By the grace of God, the president of Nigeria come 2023. Coming down to the grassroots. Today was in Boki local government. Not just Boki local government. He visited Ogep local government. Not just the two local government. He also visited Ogoja local government. And if you see what he did, he went to the areas that... I believe that even if they say other presidential as candidates should come to this area, they will not go to those places. So I want to thank him sincerely for being the kind of person. That is what grassroots politics is all about. I was not in Ogep, but when I put a phone call through, I could hear the thunderous voices from behind, which meant that the crowd was big. Ecom was good. Boki and Ogoja where I am, I can tell you that it's good to go. The crowd, the support was, was quite good. Part of Kwankwasa's shadow was a visit to Obalabas Palace, Ugep, Yakru, and the place of Sakin House Sawa of Ogocha, Kwankasiya Community Igoli, as well as a town hall meeting, which ran into the early hours of the morning. <laughs>